Cancelli has us underway. At the six yard line to Anthony Thomas. Thomas already got a crease. There he goes. And there he goes. He's gone. 94 yards on the opening play. Touchdown. Kansas State just found out what speed really means. By the Ducks. Uh, their extra point attempt, and they're going to try to go for two and got it. Deion Jordan. Eight nothing, Oregon. And down and ten. Here comes a blitz. This time the throw is to Harper, and he's got about eight of it. It's going to be third down and short. Wildcats 50% on their third down conversions this year. They'll throw, and first down toss to Lockett across midfield. And Kansas State with a big play there. He's an excellent lead blocker. That's where Collin will go. Tries to bounce it outside, and the Ducks equal to the task. They hold and take over on downs. John Barner going to empty out of that backfield. Mariota flushed out of the pocket. He's an excellent runner too and he got the first down at the 49 yard line. Not only Barner has yet to carry. Still hasn't. Mariota keeps it and pays the price and Meshack Williams a loss of four and that's the second big play he's made beautifully played by Meshack here too but a lot of purple <laughs> Mariota the throw fires far side got a man completed midfield back to basically the original line of scrimmage to the Anthony Thomas but it's still fourth down line in the backfield. Lock it in motion on first down. It'll be Hubert. And he found a crease. Tough run, eight yards for the junior out of Waco. Klein in trouble, and down he goes. Michael Clay with a sack, the first of the night. Cover guys. This time Mariota gives off to DeAnthony Thomas on the sweep and then again the speed to get the first down on the far side. Miami veteran experienced mature guys. Third down and seven empty backfield Mariota looked to the right and now takes off up the middle and he's got another first down. See, I think that second and five. Mariota throwback screen to DeAnthony Thomas. And Thomas follows his blockers all the way. Touchdown. Twenty three yards his second score of the night. Now this is uh, pretty evident that the Anthony Thomas likes playing in BCS bowl game. <laughs> Tyler Lockett. Awaits the kickoff. And he'll run up on this one at the nine yard line. Lock it. Got it to the outside. And across the 40. Nice run back. Well, Brad, I mentioned. They lost. And they're scrambling around a little bit here. On first and 15. They did get this play off. Klein scanning the field. Throws back near side. Oh, man. Almost got Lockett killed on that one. Right. He'd have the best chance to play. And he's become a good receiver. Big body. Angelo Pease coming back looking for a block from Colin Klein and got it. And Pease is all the way to the 31 before he's roughed out of bounds. A pickup of 13. One yard line. Blitz coming off the corner. And another good run inside by Pease. And he's got about 13 more. 
down near the goal line. He's hitting the backfield and lost. Loss of a couple. Deion Jordan with the first hit, and they keep Alonzo cleaned up to the top of your screen. Third down and goal, Kansas State at the Duck Six. Klein looking right, running now, heading to the corner in the pylon. Touchdown. Six yards for the score, his 23rd rushing touchdown of the year. The tight end on the right side on second down at 10. Klein throws crossing route. Tyler Lockett. Lockett broke a tackle. Got a first down. He's shifty. Yep. You know, Colin Klein for one on the sideline. Second down at four. Play action. He throws one out and a one-handed catch by Tannehill. The tight end good for the first down. And don't you feel the Kansas? Klein, plenty of time, throws a crossing route right to Harper again. Harper puts his head down, and did he get it? Yeah, he did. Looked like he might have. And with that spot, he will. Another third down and three. Duck show blitz. They slip trying to do it, and the throw's complete to Harper. Harper. And again, just like we talked about, hard to bring down. First and goal, Wildcats pick up of 21. A 25-yard field goal attempt. Antelli tucks it inside the left upright with 521 remaining in the half. Antelli, short kick taken at the nine by Keenan Lowe. And Lowe got outside as well. Out across the 40, another big kick return for the Ducks. He will throw quickly, but again, great hit put on from the secondary. Justin Tuggle actually from the linebacker position on Josh Huff. Tonight, choosing not to fair catch the football. And this is a fake, and it's an option. And the pitch to the punter, and he's not going to get there. Kansas State comes up with a big play on special teams. State, they've scored 10 unanswered points, and they've got it at midfield. Colin Klein going to throw to his safety decision. valve out of the backfield. Pease, and he's got another first down. Great decision because they went for a deep play off of play action after the huge play by the special team. And a fullback in there. And on the option, it's Pease, and he wants to throw. Hit, and now does go deep. Man out there. Oh, at the goal line broken up. Brian Jackson got there in time. Because Pete. Klein crossing route again to Harper. Stiff arm and a first down after it. See, that's the strength of Harper. You know, a smaller receiver might get tackled. Anthony Cantelli kick on the way and it's wide left. And there's what we talked about. They've had some problems with longer kicks this year and they missed an opportunity to make it a two point game. Yep. A minute to go. It's about how long it takes Oregon to score usually. Here's the tight end and he's got it. Out across the 45 yard line before a swarm of purple hits him. A little surprising for Oregon since there was 346 remaining in the first quarter. That's how long Kansas State's kept it out of their hands. But here's Barner now down to the 41. The last time they had the ball, they had five minutes and they went three and out. Of course, he made the play on the fake punt as well with a tackle. Down the middle and again. Lyle of the tight end, 17 more yards. Oregon still has two timeouts. They get the snap in a hurry. Mariota scanning the field. Going to go back to the sideline. Got Barner on the run, and he'll score. Touchdown, Oregon. Just like that.
Donald Klein rolls that way. He's going to throw it as far as he can here in a second. And there it goes. And on the other end, it is intercepted at the 11 yard line by Eric Dargan. So, Kansas State took a shot. The third quarter and uh, have a chance to fight right back into it. Rob Beard to kick Tyler Lockett and Tremaine Thompson, both dangerous return men, wait on the other end. And running up on it at the nine is Lockett. Tyler Lockett got to the outside. Nice little shake at the 35 and out of bounds at the 36. As we check in with Holly Rowe, you see what Kansas State has done to open drives of the third quarter. And they come up ready to throw. Fine, near side, wide open is Tremaine Thompson and out of bounds with a first down. This is one of the best seconds. Kenyon Barner hasn't done much as a runner tonight, but as a receiver, he has. Mariana goes downfield. Wow, what a shot. Jared Milo says hello. And a good clean hit. He didn't lead with his head. He came in with the short. Mariota on third and 11. Blitz coming from the secondary. Has to reload and now trying to run for it. And he got there. And then some. Nifty run by the Ducks quarterback. First down. 15. Tonight's been held in check by that front wall of Kansas State. Here's the throw out to the mismatch problem. Lila again. First down. Guys in the slot. And now Barner runs the other way, and he's into the secondary. To the 30-yard line. He just popped out the other side. See, Chip said he needed to call a faster game. They're in a much faster tempo to start the third quarter. And that play, Kansas State did not get lined up in their run defense. The quick snap caught him off guard, and they got a big run from Barner. 19 yards for Kenyon Barner. Now they fake it to him, and they throw complete. Josh Huff. And Huff's got it to the 15-yard line. Got to add to the lead. Kick on the way, and it's perfect. Maldonado tacks on three more. But still, Kansas State with a stop assures that this is a two-possession game right now with 11 minutes remaining third quarter. Jermaine Thompson, Tyler Lockett, both who averaged over 33 yards a kickoff return back deep. And it's Lockett from the one. And Lockett behind Jermaine Thompson's blocking across the 35 and out to the 41-yard line. They keep giving Kansas State good field position. Now they got to do something with it. Against Baylor in their only loss of the season. Klein hit as he throws again. That one almost made it to Harper, the receiver. And this time, Tony Washington made Colin Klein hit the deck. Unbelievable. Here's Mariota on the run. Great wheels and great speed and all the way down to the 29-yard line. A 32-yard romp by the Oregon quarterback. And here they are as fast as they can get. Addition of it and the addition of some no-huddle tempo has really caught on. And here's Barner. And he broke free. I don't think his knee ever touched. And he's inside the 15. Great balance by Kenyon Barner. Down. He actually got it to the two where it's first and goal. High snap. Mariota handles it and he's going to cruise to the corner. Touchdown, Oregon. Mariota with his fifth rushing touchdown of the year. And now, unless Kansas State's got an answer pretty soon, this one could get out of hand hand has been something that Oregon has really adhered to and uh, I think it's showing tonight he's trying to go wide defense not going to let him Kiko Alonzo again and another loss uh, I, we can't say enough about this Oregon defense tonight you know in the first half when their offense was struggling a couple uncharacteristic three and outs the defense held strong in the first half and now they've got a 32 to 10 lead. Mariota down the middle and completes the Anthony Thomas again. 16 more yards. Things are starting to open up a little bit for him here in the third quarter. Got seven more on that carry. Second down and three play action. Mariota is going to take a shot. 
and he's got his man, but he dropped it. But there is a flag. In fact, there's three of them out there. Josh Huff, had he been able to hold on, would have had a touchdown. And Randall Evans was the guy covering. Reach out in touch. <laughs> Pass to the first. Grab him. <laughs> Defense. Number 15. It's a 15 yard penalty. Automatic. First down. Got and he gives it off to Barner and he spins his way for a couple and a first down. See, when you run inside. Too many guys that can catch him. Here he goes the other way. And this time, Kansas State. Nice job by Arthur Brown. The middle linebacker lost on the play. Fourth down at four. Mariota loads and now Meshack Williams has got him and there's a stop the Wildcats desperately needed first sack of the night Hubert follows his blockers well and he's got 12 or 13 yards and another first down and he's into duck territory. Keenan Taylor, the right guard, pulled out in front of him on that play. Good patience that time by Hubert. Last play of the third quarter, barring a penalty. Klein loads, reloads, and now Collins going to run with it. And made one guy miss, and he got a big gainer down the sideline. To the 32-yard line to end quarter. In the movement of Hamuli, number 90, I think has caused some problems. Throw out Harper makes a nice cut and another one back to the sideline before a whole flock of ducks finally shows up. He got nine yards. Again, looking over that sideline takes extra seconds that might be precious later. Klein, shovel pass to Hubert. Nice cut back and in untouched. Touchdown, Kansas State. Ten yarder. Great cut by John Hubert on the run. And that's his first touchdown reception of the year. Three wideouts to Colin Klein's right. But he'll keep it on the ground to Pease. Pease running that way. Got some good blocks from his wideouts. And he got it out around the 28-yard line. 14-yard run by Angelo Pease. Mariota with Barner in the backfield. Gives it off to him again. And Kenyon almost broke that one. Nigel Malone holding on for dear life. Still a 15 yard pickup, and he's over 100 yards on. Left tackle on Tyler Johnstone and a sophomore right tackle. Barner with a stiff arm on Brown, of all people. Would well, you see him stay in bounds, too? <laughs> Smart play by Kenyon trying to keep the clock going. Trying to make it 35 17, and Maldonado does. 10 play drive over five minutes used up he improved as the season's gone along Golston that is and AJ had another wonderful year for the tide Colin Klein getting set to end his career at Kansas State and it's going to end with an interception Eric Dargan bringing it back the other way and finally run out of bounds 31 yard interception return As we take a look at the direct TV. And the final score is 35 to 17. Two really good coaches. And much different philosophies and approaches, probably. One's old school and one couldn't be any more new wave. But a heck of a football game. And I know a lot of respect between those two guys. Colin Klein has brilliant career. Kansas State comes to a close. Hopefully for him there's an opportunity maybe in the NFL and maybe at some other position. Most people don't think he's a quarterback. But another BCS win for Chip Kelly. He's with Holly Rowe. Well, Coach, the tempo of this game really started to change in your